Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to configure Utility Meter. We'll start in 10 seconds. Today, as promised, we are working on a component called Utility Meter that will allow us to track more data from our utilities. In my case, I have Shelly EM, so I will be making a tracker that will allow me to track daily and monthly usage of electricity at my house, but I will also do automation that will be triggered whenever there is a change between peak and off-peak tariff. Bear in mind, this is automation done by hand and not something controlled by your utility company. So, for example, if you have difference in when peak and off-peak starts and stops in summer or winter, this is something that you should change in the future by hand. So, let's get cracking. Let's open up Visual Studio Code. Here we will add new integration called Utility Meter. Let's declare now utility meter so it's utility meter next thing that we have to do is we have to define what are we tracking so i will be tracking two sensors or i will be tracking one sensor but creating two sensors one will be called daily energy so it's daily energy and now we should add here the name of the sensor in order for me to be sure that I'm using correct one. I will go to overview, Shelly, and I will look up to this value. Configure UI, edit, and I'll copy it. As you can see, I didn't rename it. So sensor name is really Shelly, Shelly energy meter, number of the device, first input and current consumption. Let's type here source. And we will paste here the name of the sensor I copied previously. So this is the full name. I made here typo, so it's daily, daily. Uh, but at this point, we still haven't instructed system so that he knows that we want daily uh, energy. What we have to do here is we have to type in command called cycle. And for daily energy, this should be daily. And this command now instructs Home Assistant to reset this daily energy sensor with the data every day. Next thing that we want to do is uh, monthly energy. Once again, we will be using same source. And we will be instructing Home Assistant to recycle this sensor uh, monthly. So this will be monthly. For all the users that do not have peak and off-peak tariff, this should be it. So you can save and restart your system. But for all those that want to track peak and off-peak data, you have to add a couple of lines more. Here we will be adding tariffs. And we will be creating two tariffs. One will be called peak and the other one will be called off-peak. Same goes here, tariffs, peak, off-peak. What have we done? We have created two additional sensors. One will be called daily energy, the other one will be called monthly energy. This one will be reset daily, this one will be reset monthly. And both of those sensors have additional two sensors, meaning that we will now have daily energy peak and daily energy off peak. So overall from one sensor, which is current consumption, we have created four additional sensors, two peak sensors for daily and monthly and two off peak for daily and monthly. This is now saved. What we can do now, we can restart our home assistant. So let's go to configuration server control check configuration and let's press restart and we are now back online let's go to overview let's go to shelly 
and here we will be adding a couple of more sensors at this point i think i will just list them here as entities one will be called daily so we now have daily peak daily off peak and we can also track why, whether we are in a peak or off peak so let's save this and the other one we will create monthly sensor so monthly peak monthly off peak and let's track here status is it peak or off peak okay at this point we have created utility meter sensors we are now tracking both daily and monthly usage of the electricity we are also currently tracking both peak and off peak and for me it is uh, set to correct a value it should be peak at this moment but we still didn't create automation for it so let's go to configuration automations let's add a new one and let's call it peak of peak so what are we going to use we are going to use time trigger and for me the trigger should be at seven o'clock in the morning so it's zero seven zero 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 and we are also adding additional time it should be uh, i think it's 21 zero 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 and we are going to be calling service this service is utility utility meter next tariff for daily and also action service utility next tariff for monthly let's press save and this should be it we can also check the yaml file let's go to automations let's go to the bottom and you can see that we now have a new peak of peak automation that will be triggered at seven o'clock at nine o'clock pm it doesn't have any condition and the only actions we have is to cycle the utility meter both daily and monthly at that time and that should be it let's check it so currently both sensors are at peak if we go and trigger this automation it should change to off peak it is off peak but as i said i'm currently in the peak tariff so let's go back let's go to automations and let's execute this once again and it should now be at peak of course having those information inside home assistant allows you a lot you can play with all the data you will have now uh, you can do some kind of automations if you reach over your daily average or if you surpass your monthly average compare months do some kind of calculation of the cost of electricity etc but this is it for this edition of home assistant how to if you have any kind of a question or a comment you can always find me on the discord or you can leave it down in the description if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates and i'll be seeing you next time until then, bye-bye and have fun.